Why do you think he didn't get in the ring tonight, Jake Paul? Because he knew he could see it looking into my eyes. Like, I, I was ready to go. I took the medal off, and if he'd have got in that ring, I, I would have gone to him, no problem. Because I am not here for the glitzing cameras and all that sort of stuff. What I say is what I mean. I don't like that man. I don't like him. And he had, and he had an opportunity to do something about it there, but he wouldn't. He was there negotiating with his manager, so to get in the ring, so not get in the ring. You didn't see me, did you? He said, come out here. I was straight through the ropes. My security brand in there grabbed hold of my arm as tight as possible and nearly ripped it off to get me back in the ring. You know, that's the difference here. So, he is what he is and everybody's seen that tonight. A complete bitch. Can't can even get in the ring. Can I say one thing here though? I've locked him down, backed him in a corner and checkmated him. He's agreed to a February bout. He shook me hand, he gave me his word of honour, he's manager, it's happening in February. I said, listen, if you renege or back out, you'll never live it down in your life and you can't break a man's handshake. Contracts mean nothing to me, but a handshake does, and my word, you can build a towel block on it. He's giving his word, his manager, we fight in February. And where better place than the great Dubai, the world I promised, the new world. Although, obviously, Dad said he sh shook hands on a deal for February next year. Jake didn't want to seemingly, or didn't, he chose not to get in the ring with you. Are you convinced that this fight happens at all? Yeah, at the end of the day, you know, it's Jake Paul. You know, nothing's concrete to the man's in the ring. But he won't even step inside the ring with me. Like, and we're not even fighting. He won't even step inside the ring with me. So that says it all to me, you know. And again, I'm going to go back to this point. The eyes never lie. And I looked him dead in the eyes multiple times tonight. And he told me one thing. I can't beat you in a fight. And that's all I need to know. So when he would like to step in the ring with me, it's a foregone conclusion. Because I will bowl him straight over. And I promise you that. And everybody can say what they want to say, but when we're in that ring, you will see. What I've been saying for the past two and a half years, it's true. And it's going to be easy work. How frustrating have these last two and a half years? Everyone talks about Jake Paul. I know you want to pursue a professional career, and we talk about YouTube boxing. How frustrating is it having him sort of there, poke all the time? You just want to get your hands on him, right? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't, I don't pay attention to anything he says. I mean, I, I can't even tell you what he was saying at ringside while I was fighting because I wasn't listening, listening to him. It was like Jake Paul wasn't there tonight. You know, my attention was on my fight. Yeah. You know, so he can say whatever he wants, and he, he talked a lot from ringside, and that microphone he kept it holding up for some reason, but he wouldn't get in the ring and he didn't have anything to say and he said to me come out to the ringside look what I did there in a flash that's the difference I want to hurt that man I want to do him some serious harm because I don't like him there is serious bad blood between me and him at the start it was just oh yeah he's called my name you know it's a big fight let's get it on but now I genuinely don't like that fella I'm gonna get in the ring with him you're gonna see that I'm gonna bust him up I'm gonna hurt him so whenever he's got the balls to get in the ring it'll happen you'll see it and it's gonna be easy work